Hi guys, this is Jocasta Lester. How, how are you? Um, in this video, I want to basically revisit or restate something I've said previously. Basically, we live our lives in um, some ways tandem so that um, from my perspective, this is what I believe about it. Um, I believe that you're born and that's a date. That's a marker in time you came to exist. I believe that you die. That's a, um, a marker uh, that says this is the end. You were appointed once to die and you appoint the time happened. <laughs> but when you're born again, that's a date also that to me is a telling date. I believe it speaks of the um, the Holy Spirit sacrifice. I believe that the people that um, were unheard, the uncried voices, I believe that the person with the Holy Spirit has something to do so that in this apartment, I'm here, and I've said it before, but I want to reiterate it. My name is Jocasta A. Lester, okay? My son's name is Tobias A. Lester. <laughs> and in this room, I say, okay, birth is a marker. So my son was born in November 2005, right? And I'm like, oh, I was born again, but I was born again May 29th, 2011. So I'm like, all right. So from May to May of 2011 to 2022, that's 11 years. So I'm entering into what is now, um, yeah, um, I'm going, I'm approaching my 12th year, but I'm in, approaching the end of the 11th year. So that if I say, okay, Jocasta A. Lester, um, in full name, Jocasta, my middle name, Lester um, were here. So at least Jocasta and Lester were here in this room. If I were to consider it and say, huh, this is January of 2023. So in what was my 11th year going into my 12th year sometime in January, um, I go home. Huh, what is 2005 plus 11? That's 2016, huh? <laughs> so potentially in my 11th year of life in 2016, something evil may have happened here. <laughs> um, I wasn't here. Jocasta wasn't here. <laughs> but A. Lester was here. <laughs> so that um, potentially, this is by speculation, okay? So that if I were to just project what is my year of rebirth, or, or rather, I'm sorry, my age in reborn years onto anyone born, <laughs> you may find what atrocity happened where. And God can use the beams and the timbers to cry out on the behalf of those who basically were unable to tell their own truths. That's how I believe. I perceive it that as that. Then I'm like, oh, there was a murder plot. So that I look at the Bible and I'm like, oh, the wicked fellow servants, they cast out um, the air. And beat them to death. Okay. So that what was the vineyard? Well, I established a vineyard as any place where that person was supposed to be. <laughs> um, they were given the uh, authority and the charge by the, um, the husbandman or the householder to be there. And the ones that were there to serve with that person wanted that person's inheritance and thus threw them out of the vineyard and tried to seize their inheritance. Okay. So when I look at the world, I'm like, huh, what are all these conspiracies? Oh, when it came down to when this person was compensated for the betrayal of the Holy Spirit, this person wanted to give the money back. Then they couldn't give the money back. They said, no, you, you keep it. It's the price of blood. So then that person, they leave and they figure out what to do with the money. They go and put it, you know, toward what was now this field where the strangers were buried. And now it becomes the field of blood, <laughs> the potter's field. <laughs> so, FYI. So have a blessed and marvelous day and repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. The whole point of the last bit of what I said is this. When there are murder plots, they tend to be described in scripture. You can actually find the guilty parties by uh, finding and replacing <laughs> And applying all <laughs> of God's word on what is the um, tragedy of a person's 
untimely or even timely death. Death by system has been um, demonstrated by Jezebel. So that when you look at getting false people to testify, like these false physicians reports, these false doctors reports, these false 9-11 reports, um, when you number, if you treat each one of those deaths like, uh-oh, there's another sacrifice, another person killed again, <laughs> then you say, okay, well, how did the system cover it up? So you say, okay, cast everybody in place, and then you find who did it. <laughs> so have a blessed and marvelous day, and thank you for watching.